Good morning and welcome to Forks Club TV. Today is Monday, August 24, 2009. I'm Remy with your Forks Club market update. As we start off the week, the US dollar is trading mixed against the major currencies, flat against the euro and higher against the Japanese yen. Now, overnight global equity markets did rally and the J uh, Japan's Nikkei index was up by 3.3%. And here at the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is seeing an advance. Now, keeping that in mind, uh, commodity currencies, including the Aussie as well as the Kiwi, are stronger against the majors. But we also do have to note that commodities are higher, including crude oil futures. Now, as we kick off the week, there's no key U.S. data releases out today. But looking ahead to tomorrow, we do have the conference board's uh, consumer confidence index. And on Wednesday, we do get durable goods orders as well as new home sales. And on Thursday, we get GDP and jobless claims. And ending the week, we on Friday, we do get personal income and spending. And now for a closer look at the major currency pairs, starting out with the euro dollar as of 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, the pair was trading at 1 m 4328 In the short term, caution is advised for this pair and daily technical indicators are trading mix. Now the preference of trading central analysts is they do favor an up move and as long as the pivot, which is currently at 140, is not breached on the downside targets currently stand at 145 and then 146.60. Now alternatively, uh, trading central analysts do say the downside breakout of 140 will invalidate the bullish scenario for euro dollar and in this case a decline should shape towards the 137.50 level followed by 134.50. And now shifting our focus on over to dollar yen, which is currently trading at 94.75. In the short term, this pair is under pressure. Now daily technical indicators are bearish and don't show any reversal signs. The preference of trading central analysts when trading dollar yen is that as long as the pivot is not broken on the upside, then they do favor a down move with targets standing at 91.65 and then 89.80. Alternatively, only the upside breakout of the pivot of 98 will invalidate the bearish scenario, and if so, a recovery should shape towards the 101.50 level, followed by the 107.50. And last but not least, before we wrap it up for today, let's take a look at Euro Yen. The cross is currently trading at 135.75. On an intraday basis, the pair is turning down as the RSI is badly directed. Now, the cross is still below resistance and is challenging its bullish channel lower boundary. Now, the preference of trading central analysts is to short positions below the pivot, which is currently at 136.25, with targets standing at 135 and 134.45 in extension. And that wraps it up for today's Forex Club Market Update. Tune in again tomorrow morning and have a great day.